All right, guys. So I know that you guys have been talking with Miss Beth Hart about ankles, right? Mm -hmm. Who can tell me? Do you guys know? Can you tell me what an obtuse angle is? An obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees. But less and than 180. Yep. Yep. And then, um, what's a right angle? Sarah. It's 90 degrees. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then, what's an acute angle? Smaller than 90 degrees. Do you guys know of a way to remember acute angles? Well, yeah. Cute. Well, can you? Well, yes. Well, you can use your hand to like if you get like lower than like if you make a, a 90 degree angle with your um, hands and then mm -hmm. you, if you go like shorter than that you can just remember that it's a it's an acute angle. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good way to remember it too. I when I was when I was in school. They always told me that acute is little and tiny, and cute, and cute. Yeah, yeah that's, what I, that's what I think. That's what my teacher told us. Yeah, that's a good way to remember, isn't it, huh? Do you guys know what parallel lines are? Yeah. It's, it's where uh, these lines that go on forever, and they won't be able to cross. They won't be able to cross? Can you come draw me parallel lines on up here? You can do it over here. It's OK if they're not perfect. We'll just pretend that they won't cross. Now, if I were to take these lines all the way up to the sky, are they ever going to cross? If I take them all the way down to the center of the earth, are they ever going to cross? No. What's perpendicular? It's when the lines cross, but um, they, if you, they, if they start like this and they go forward, they'll well, eventually cross. And when they do cross, what does the cross have to, like, if I have... If I make parallel or if I make perpendicular lines, so if I have a line here and a line here, what forms right here? Uh, a right angle, which is 90 degrees. which is ninety degrees. So typically, if you, when you have perpendicular lines, you're going to see right angles, even if it's like, even if they cross like this. Mm -hmm. This right here is still a right angle. It's still going to be ninety. Mm -hmm. per typically, perpendicular lines are going to have a 90 degree angle in them. I don't want to say all the time, but most, the, of, the time. most of the time, maybe 1% you're not going to find. But typically, somewhere you're going to have your little 90 degree angle in them. Okay? All right. Now, who can show me with your popsicle sticks that are in front of you? Show me a 90 degree angle. Perfect. Now, if I wanted to have any acute angle, it doesn't matter if it's 45 degrees, 35 degrees, what is it going to look like? Smaller, right? And what is an obtuse angle going to look like? And what does 180 look like? Perfect. All right, I'm going to have you guys take turns coming up here and, oh, and drawing different angles for me. We don't need to be exact. But then when we do, we're, we are going to get a little more exact, and we're going to start using our protractors and measuring angles on our pieces of paper. Okay. So, Sarah, I'm going to have you come up first, and you can draw me draw me any obtuse angle. If I were to look at a piece of paper and think to myself, huh, is this going to be obtuse or acute? Perfect. And this is obtuse because... A right angle. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna have you do me. I'm gonna have you do two for me. I'm gonna 
and have you do 90 and 180. Do you know which one you're going to do for me? A U. Perfect. All right. Now, if I were to ask you what the Where of these wonderful angles are. Do you guys know how, if I were to say, I want the measure of angle this one. Do I say the measure of angle this one? No. no. We have to label our angles. We have to name them. So that we, if we, once we start getting more shapes and more angles put in, we need to know which one, which line, which lines are put together and what lines are different angles. So if I were to go label this, what letter series would you use? A, B, C? A, B, C? Okay. So if I take this acute angle here and I want to do A, B, and C. So then if I were to tell you guys, I want you guys to figure out what the angle measurement of A, of angle A, B, C is. You guys are going to know automatically that it's this one. Because if I've got, you know, one out here, one out here, if we have, sh once we get, once you guys are doing shapes, shapes are going to have more than one angle in it. So you guys are going to know which one you guys need to measure because the measurements could be different, right? So, A, B, C. What would this be? Because we can't have two A's, we can't have two B's, because then that gets confusing, right? We won't, we won't know which one's which. Right. All right. So you guys have papers in front of you, and you have lovely protractors in front of you, and I want you guys to take your protractors and start measuring your angles. And if you guys want to, you guys can extend these lines out so that it reaches your protractor if it makes it easier. You guys can use the edges of your sticks. So right here, if you want to use the edge of your stick, and then you guys can read it a little bit better. It might make it a little bit easier.
always good to correct, go back and check just to make sure. measurement, but um, what kind of angle it is? Sarah? Acute. Acute. And how do you know that? Because it's smaller than a 90 degree. Mm -hmm. And what was, what degree measure did you get for? 45 degree. 45? Perfect. It is a 45 degree angle. <clears throat> All right. Number two. What angle measurement did you get? I got 30. Perfect. 30 is absolutely correct. Carta. Number three. Um, I got an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle. And what was your degree measurement? 120 degrees. 100. Perfect. It is 120 degrees. Sarah, what did you get for number four? Um, acute and 75. And 75. And Ava, number five. Perfect. Carter, what'd you get for six? Um, I, I got 90 degrees and it's a right angle. It's a right angle. And what little marker in that 90 degree angle lets you know that it's 90 degrees? The square. The square. Perfect. And Sarah, what'd you get for seven? A Q and 25. Okay. And Ava, what's the last one? Um, I got obtuse and 125. Obtuse and 125. Perfect. Did you guys all get those right? Do we all have the same answer for them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I'm. these aren't going to be perfect because I don't have a giant protractor. But I'm going to have you guys come up to the board and um, you guys can choose. You guys can choose if you want to do a right angle, an obtuse angle, or an acute angle. And you guys can estimate it and then mark your degrees, what you roughly think it is. So if it's 25 or 45 or 130 or anything like that, okay? All right. Like the first one? Yep. You don't have to use black. It's just like my green one. Pretty close. Still pretty close. 
All right, Ava, do you want to come do one? do one more thing before we're done and we're just going to I just want you guys to go with through your worksheet and you guys can work together as a pair of three go through your worksheet and let's use our um, angle sticks that we have and just go through this and just make your angle sticks with the angles that you have so another thing that you guys could do with these angle sticks is if you guys have like if you guys are thinking to yourself hmm, a 45 degree angle I know it's less than 90, so I know it's going to be an acute angle. So if you guys take your sticks, you guys can kind of roughly estimate kind of what you think it is. And then if you, so if you guys are given the degree, 45 degrees, and you're like, hmm, what would that look like? You know it's less than 90, right? So we know it's going to be acute. So then when you guys go to do your drawing, of your angles, you know it's gonna look something by what you've constructed, right? So let's go ahead, show me what you think um, a 135, uh, 135 degree angle would look like. So you know it's not gonna be 90 degrees, right? You guys are going to know it's going to look a little bit like this, right? It's going to look a little obtuse, huh? So if you guys look at your paper and you, and you look at it and you're like, huh, that looks nothing like this, you guys are going to know that it's going to it's going to look a little bit different. So you guys have a general idea of kind of what your angle is going to look like if you guys are just given the number, okay? So if you guys want to, you guys can go through your paper and you guys can play with the sticks. You guys can go ahead and kind of show yourself what these angles would look like. And then I'm going to write a couple numbers up here on the board. And then we're going to use our sticks to kind of estimate what we think the angle would look like, okay? So do we just, like, try and make the sticks what the number is right here? Mm hmm Like, you guys can, yeah, so if it's a 45-degree angle, you guys can use your sticks. one more thing with our sticks and then we'll wrap up. Okay, guys. Mine is about stick me. Okay. It's, it's too big to take me out of that. It's, it's in the middle of 60 and 40. So. Yeah. Perfect. All right, guys. I put a couple numbers up on the board. And... One is an obtuse angle, one is a acute angle, and one is a right angle. So we're going to use our sticks, and we're just going to roughly estimate what we think it would look like. Okay? So we have 60 degrees. Is that more or less than 90? Less. Less. So it's going to be a what angle? Acute. 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 Perfect. Acute or right? Obtuse. Obtuse, and why is it going to be obtuse? Because it's only 10. Because it's, yeah, bigger than 90 and less than 180. Correct. All right. What would 170 look like, do you think? Well, if this is 180, then just move it up a little. Just a little bit? Yeah. Because it's, it's not that much different from our straight 180 line, is it? Yeah. Nope. What about this one? 
What about 90s? 90s pretty easy, huh? Because it never changes, does it? It always looks the same. Perfect. All right. All right, you guys. I'm going to do one vocab review. Tiny quiz. Okay? I know that you guys can do it. I have faith in you. What are parallel lines? Uh, they or, can go up and down, but then they never cross. And they never cross. What are, what's a right angle? Ava. Exactly 90 degrees. Exactly 90 degrees. What is an obtuse? Sarah. More than 90 and less than 180. Perfect. What is an acute? Carter. Less than 90 degrees. Less than 90 degrees. And then the final one. What are perpendicular lines? Ava. The lines that um, cross eventually. So if, if they're like here, they're not like um, parallel lines, mm -hmm. but they go, they cross. Right? And what, what's going to form in my perpendicular lines? Part. Probably an X. Like, like right angles. Like right angles. Right angle. right yep. Angle. Yeah. Perfect. Right angles. Perfect. Good job, guys. You guys can, you guys can keep those ankle sticks if you want. Um.